with our exalted Lord. Hallelujah. My soul, we praise your name forever. Be thou exalted, Lord. Hallelujah. My soul, we praise your name forever. Father, that is what we say today. Be thou exalted, even as we praise you today, and we covenant to praise you forever. Accept our thanksgiving for this brand new day. Lord, we find in the scriptures how you decided not to operate alone. Jesus, you called 12 to be with you. According to Mark chapter 3, from verse 13 to 15, Jesus called unto him whom he would, and they came unto him. He ordained the 12 that they should be with him that he might send them forth to preach and that they might have power to heal sicknesses and diseases and to cast out devils. They were like a close group. But later in the scripture, we found another group of 70 in Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 20. And later, he gave us the great commission the Great Commission was given to all believers. So today we decree that we receive fresh power to be with Jesus, to learn at his feet. We receive grace to preach the gospel wherever we go. We receive power and anointing to heal sicknesses and diseases. We receive authority to cast out devils. The Bible says he gave them authority and power to heal the sick and cast out evil spirit. And that is what we will do today. We are not only healed, we are healers in the order of Jesus, our master. He said in Luke chapter 10 verse 19, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. We receive the great commission. And I pray for you today, according to the word of God, you will tread upon serpents, you will tread upon scorpions, the serpent in your office, the serpent in your area of business will never be able to bite you. The scorpions, will never sting you. You will rule over the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Give to the wind your fears today. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. So give to the wind your fears evil will not befall you. As you stand for Christ, he will stand for you. Now, receive a sound mind. Receive the mind of Christ. I decree and pray that your memory will not fail you. Your mind will not fail you. Wisdom has its seat in the mind. Wisdom will not fail you. Emotion will not fail you. I decree that your emotions will be pervaded by love, by joy, by hope. Your health will not fail you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your name will not end up in the register of failures. Everything threatening your progress is banished from your path. Everything threatening the progress of your children is banished from their path. No evil will come your way. You will overcome the challenges before you. You will receive peace today in place of pain. Good news in place of bad news. God will be glorified in your situation. 
it will never be late for you. Divine assistance is yours. God will step in to redeem the so-called irredeemable around your life. God will step in to repair the so-called irreparable around your life. Your children will do well. They will continue to do well. They will become great. The single will be married shortly in the name of Jesus Christ. The mercy of God will deliver you from every mess that the enemy has organized for you. Your difficulties will turn to testimonies today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I decree and I pray that the Lord will accept your worship today and bless you with his presence. As you approach the throne of grace, I decree that he will give you help in time of need. So shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and Amen.